Hey YouTube, how in the fuck are you guys doing today? So today uh, we're going to talk about uh, the 49X Western Stars that I bought, how I like them, and kind of the update of some of the issues that we've had and some of the non-issues that we've had, but just kind of go through uh, kind of what I like and don't like and that stuff. There's really not very many dislikes and talk about some other stuff. So everybody's been asking, we've actually had enough, what would I say this, mileage to really tell you, to really iron out uh, about the stuff. Like the transmissions, uh, what I like about those, just some other type of stuff. So the first one is the Thunder Chicken that I bought. Um, this has a DD-16 in it with the DD-12 transmission, okay? This truck weighs uh, right at about 32,000 pounds. They all, all the six axle dump trucks weigh about 32,000 pounds. Don't ask me what we can haul legally. I don't care nor give a shit because if you drive a dump truck, you're not hauling fucking legally. The only time you do is out of the fucking goddamn plants or out of the fucking gravel yards, nobody else cares, okay? So I don't fucking know. I don't drive a truck every day, so don't put it in the fucking comments because I really don't give a fuck. So anyway, the DD-16, uh, um, these are the 560, like, I think this one's 560 20, 1850, I do believe, is the horsepower spec on this one. Uh, this thing runs really good. I do like the DD-12 transmission. All right, let's see what this is here. Yeah, so this is um, 560, uh, it doesn't say 1850 torque uh, is what it is. So it's got the DD-12 in it. This truck runs uh, really good. I like this truck. We haven't had very many issues. We had one issue uh, so far. Uh, the alternator broke. That was kind of no big deal. Uh, so it stopped charging. That was really just an alternator issue. Other than that, uh, and we had at the very beginning, the transmission was leaking and they couldn't find it. So it took them a little bit to figure that out. Other than that, uh, no big deal. Everything is perfect. Uh, with these Western stores, it seems to be that they have a lot of updates. They're constantly changing things. Maybe they rush this production a little bit. I, I really don't know, but it's nothing you can't work. It's nothing that like, all the recalls have either been an update in programming and all that shit, which every truck has that. But this one, doing really good. Uh, the DD-12, I highly recommend. I like the DD-16 engine. I will tell you that the Jake brakes on the Detroits compared to the fucking Cummins, night and day difference, okay? Night and day difference. So that's a Thunder Chicken. The second truck I bought, uh, was this little quad axle dump truck, okay? This uh, little thing is, this truck, I don't know why I have a soft spot, soft spot for this truck. Um, I really like this truck. Again, this has the DD-16, okay? So I'm into big leader shit. Okay, let's come over here and see. Okay, so this has the DD-16, uh, 530 horsepower. Uh, is this one, okay, this truck is really freaking sweet. The only thing that I would change on this is it has an Allison transmission. It, it doesn't get the greatest fuel mileage. And I am gonna take these big ass uh, 22.5 tires off. It also lets it carry a little bit more weight, but whatever, little bunny. Um, another thing that I bought and I didn't know, this came with these Continental um, HDC3s. I love these tires. I absolutely love these tires. These are good all around tires for everything. You'll see them on some other stuff here, okay? This has a boat rock bed. This does really good. This is also the hitch that I tow my, uh, what do you call this? I tow my trailer with. Uh, this has been a really good truck, little flip tart truck. This does really good for beginner people that are driving. And you can see we have the flip tarp here. We need to order some boards for it, but it is what it is. We'll get that fixed at some point. But this is, 
Uh, the second truck I bought, again, uh, this one kind of doesn't have any of the safety features. It does have an Allison transmission, so it's okay. I will tell you about the Allison transmissions. I'm not the biggest fan. Um, I do like these trucks because of the heated and cooled seats. Jesus Christ. All right, let's see about that. Heated and cooled seats, that's pretty good. Uh, other than that, this truck has been been really good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this thing flies down the road, man. It's it's quick, okay? It, uh, it pulls that trailer pulling that bulldozer amazingly. So then... Uh, the next trucks we got were the 349 X's that I ordered originally to replace some of the Peterbilts, okay? So, again, with all three of these trucks, we've not really had any major issues, okay? These have the 565 2050 Torque Cummins. Uh, what else would I say? It's got the Eaton Ultra Shift. Really love it. These are my spec trucks, so everything has been worked out. We have had a couple, like I would say, wiring issues uh, has been the main problem. Uh, and they did an update one time on this truck and it fucked it up for three weeks. So, so they could figure out how to get the update fixed. That's just what it is. But all these trucks, again, have uh, been doing great. The fuel mileage is all kind of about the same. In a dump truck, heavy haul spec, you're not going to get more than five and a half sometimes. Uh, in the DD12 with the DD16, I have seen almost six. The Allison, I got seven, but that was kind of cruise controlling on the highway. Uh, these, uh, because of the gear ratios and stuff, they're about five and a half with that big thing. Um, I will, I do have four more of these showing up. So four more of these Western Star 49Xs. We have four more of those showing up and then way later in the year, it'll probably be 2022 or 2023, I do have a 47X lightweight spec that I am getting uh, for, what do you want to call that? I'm getting that for, uh, shit, for another dirt crew and smaller stuff. So that was uh, those 49Xs. I will tell you, how would I say this? What I really like about Daimler or Vita, okay, is the Vita service department in Walton, Kentucky, bar none, is the best trucking service department that I have dealt with. The guy's name is Danny over there. Actually, all the guys from Vita. Jeff, my original salesman, Corey, and now my new guy, uh, Matt. If you guys are ever looking for trucks, Vita, Vita, the Vita group, basically, they're in Columbus and Cincinnati. I think they're trying to get somewhere else. I don't think they're in Dayton. But that whole Vita group, uh, been great. Been great to deal with. Um, they've ordered me over $2 million worth of trucks. I haven't put a deposit down on anything. I mean, I bought everything that I got. The sales guy, Jeff, the main sales guy, Jeff, is absolutely amazing. He is a what you would call the west side of Cincinnati guy. So, so is the guy of Vita. But I cannot speak Vita. I'm going to tell you, Vita, the Walton store is open seven days a week. This is one of the main reasons that I, I really enjoy having these Western stars. Vita is open seven days a week. They fix the trucks, okay? The weekend guy that kind of runs to answer the phones, Tyler, is great. But Danny, their lead service guy, has been absolutely amazing as far as getting stuff from, you know what I'm saying? Western Star expediting stuff, keeping these trucks on the road, understanding that I'm gonna drop this thing off Friday night and I need it picked up Friday or Saturday, Sunday afternoon, and they've done great. Any problems that I've had, we've taken it. You know, we've had a bunch of stuff. So it's just, I can't say enough. If you're gonna buy trucks in a fleet like I got, service department is gonna be your number one, all righty? Now, the last truck I bought is the bronze, or this rust orange one. All right, this is another dirt truck, dedicated dirt truck, okay? Uh, you know, we got the tarp on here, as you can see. Got to move some stuff around. Uh, this truck has been really good, too, okay? I've actually, this has got 8,000 miles. This one's had no problems, all righty? So this is 
Uh, this little truck we use just to haul dirt around town. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We just have uh, a bunch of that stuff. Now, again, this is an Allison transmission truck. Alrighty. I'm not real big on it. Um, it gets about the same amount of mileage. But the DD15 that this has is kind of weak sauce. I don't know if it's... It just doesn't pull as good as the big motor shit. Let me see. Oh, my God. Well, goddamn, somebody already hit the fucking step on something. Gonna need a gonna need a fucking bracket. What do you know? Let's see what this one is. So this is the okay, they call it the DD15 high horsepower 505 1625 torque. That's why it's not very good. We probably need to get this rated up a little bit, but other than that, this is uh, the other one I bought. Um, I had these fenders painted to match, and you can see that it's kind of it's kind of kind of coming off. We probably need to get that fixed at some point. But this is the old. Uh, this is truck 15. Uh, so so far, these trucks have done really really good, in my opinion. We haven't had very many issues out of them. No regening issues. But you got to think, the most truck has 30,000 miles on it. And all that stuff so that's about is what it is other than that you know it's just about keeping the trucks clean and running them you know and uh the drivers seem to like of them some of the drivers like the peterbilt mirrors some of the guys like the western stars mirrors i really can't tell the difference uh when i've driven the trucks around just a little bit but uh that's what we got going on just want to give you an update on the western star fleet Everything seems to be going fine right now. Uh, not any major issues that we couldn't fix. Uh, also, whenever you guys are out there and you get a new truck, if you have used trucks and you come to use tr new trucks, man, about one out of seven that you buy, you're gonna have like some growing pains with it. Like it's just gonna be like, ah, oh, God damn, it's another thing. You'll have some modular problems. I Means just you gotta remember, it's put together by the lowest bidder and not very, quality people you know when they're trying to think about it i mean they build that whole goddamn truck in fucking eight hours people are gonna miss shit so always nut and bolt everything but other than that it's not anything different than i've had wrong with any other trucks to be honest with you it's all been the same so like i said am i gonna buy more yes i have four more 4900s on order and 147x i wanted a little smaller truck to do uh, a little bit smaller stuff uh, also that's uh, pretty much it but I just wanted to give you guys an update on how the Western stars are doing now that we got some mileage on them and we can really tell you know how they're gonna go but uh, you know what I'm saying my spec is the same as you know that truck six is got the same everything as truck four three and one they all pretty much have the same spec we are gonna go to the newer trucks are gonna be DD16, 560s, 2050s with the DD12 transmission and 373 rear ends. So hopefully that gets a little bit better fuel mileage. But other than that, like always guys, thanks for watching, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if you guys are looking at some 49X, you know, heavy haul dump trucks, they're, they're really good. I mean, I'm impressed with them. You know what I'm saying? We have not had any any major issues. Oh, on truck one, the headlight burnout. I think that's more of an LED issue than anything else. But other than that, it's just been little small things, you know? But uh, nothing really. But uh, if you guys want to, you know, if you're looking at buying some of these things, I'd buy them. I mean, I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to have fucking uh, nine of these things. So like always, thanks for watching. And uh, I gotta fucking go.